Hello. <laughs> I was just gonna finish this vlog. Clearly I'm done now. Ugh, I've been thinking about it, but not that hard. So now I actually have to face the problem. another writing vlog. Today is Friday, February 11th. <laughs> I haven't written in over a week because last Friday, right pretty much after the last vlog ended, we got very sick and I still sound sick, but I actually feel a million times better. It was rough. Being sick with a baby and trying not to let your baby get sick. It's been a rough week, you guys. And so, yeah, I didn't write anything, but today we're back. If you missed the last two vlogs, I've shared some of the things that have been helping me to write quickly and they've been working really well. The problem is though, I am stuck. <laughs> As of today, I need to brainstorm something and until I figure out the answers, I can't really move forward. Let's see if I can explain it. I need Jezebel to, <laughs> how do I tell you guys this? I need her to overhear something that happens about a specific person. <laughs> it's gonna kick off the story. It's a plot twisty thing. We need it to happen, okay? But you can't just have other characters come in just for the sake of your story and just like force it. They need to actually have a reason. So it's not as simple as it seems. Like I need to figure out what this person is doing, but to figure that out, I need to know why they would even do it. And to figure that out, I need to know why they would be there in the first place. <laughs> because this character, every character, really, if you're doing your story well, and this is something I heard once, I don't remember where, but every character is the hero of their own story. And so they need to have their own motivations, their own goals. They can't just show up somewhere because it works for your main character. You know what I mean? But anyway, all that to say, I need to figure this person out and what they want and why they're there before I can move forward. And oh, I've been thinking about it, but not that hard. So now I actually have to face the problem. That probably sounded like a crazy riddle, but trust me, once you read the story, you'll be like, oh, I get it. I see it. I see it now. Um, so anyway, I've been procrastinating and I'm going to procrastinate just a little bit longer and I'm going to um, clean up my messy desk before we start. Okay, I think I have it. Are you ready? I've got some notes here. I had to figure out, I kind of worked my way backwards from the why is this person there in the first place? Once I figured that out, I was like, okay, so why are they doing this specific thing that they're doing? Once I figured that out, I was like, okay, so then what exactly is it? And then on this next page, I did my bullet point strategy, which you guys probably heard me talk about a lot now. If you missed those other two vlogs, I'll link them below. You can always go watch this. This is gonna be a playlist, I'm sure. Ugh, my voice is not back yet. So I think I have a plan. Let's go. Okay, I forgot to set a timer, but I actually didn't outline. I just started writing it because I was like, okay, I see a few things. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to set an actual timer so that I can stay on track. I've got 30 minutes left. <laughs> Where did the time go? Where did it go? Oh my god. Funny enough, this is still in the end of chapter one. So chapter one's gonna be fuller and more fleshed out, which is good. I feel like I'm editing more than drafting right now because I'm coming back into the end of chapter one and I'm fleshing it out more basically. I'm realizing that it needed a lot more than I thought. I had what I thought was gonna be like two lines and it's gonna be like two pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually start using my timer to keep myself focused because I'm already getting behind. But the thing that I'm adding is good. It's gonna be good. I am excited about it. I feel like I had a breakthrough. Jumping from cliffs so high. This is the hard part about working from home. I can hear Molson and Penny playing ball. I just took like a 40 minute break to go help with Zion and then eat dinner. And now I can hear them playing ball and I can hear him crying. <sighs> I can hear Penny outside the door. I got another 30 minutes and then I have to be done for the day because we got a lot of things we have to do. So here we go. If I figure out where the road goes. 
I'm gonna zoom way out so that you can't see too much here. Basically, I wrote this little chunk and then this chunk and then <laughs> this chunk right here. And then I wrote all of this right here. And then I was like halfway through, I'm like, no, actually that doesn't belong in this chapter, that belongs in chapter two. So I had to kind of rework it. And then I started bullet pointing this section right here. And I was like, that's coming from the notebook, which I know like generally what I want to do. So I was kind of fleshing it out in here, but I can't count this th as the words for today. I can only count, you know, those chunks. So let's add it up and see what it is. This background is from the Stolen Kingdom before I even knew the names. I got an update both of my backgrounds. 85 words in chapter one plus 288 in chapter two, not counting all that bullet point stuff. I've only written 373 and I can hear Zion crying. So I'm done for the day. We'll check back in tomorrow. Today is February 12th and it's just occurred to me after having edited the first two vlogs already that I haven't really explained this concept that well so hopefully it's come across clear but this is my first time writing a book with a new baby. Obviously not with the baby, I hope that's come through. <laughs> I did consider putting him in my Moby wrap, I just haven't totally gotten a handle on it and it's also very unpredictable. if he'll stay asleep, you know? So I prefer to take like an hour and a half where I just step away and I talked to Mosin about not interrupting because like it's fine to be interrupted with some things but not with writing. It's very hard to just stay in the zone in general. Like I'm always tempted to grab my phone so I didn't bring my phone in here either today. And I'm just, I'm a little bit, just a little bit unsure how this is gonna go because I had such a good sprint followed by such a bad one and so it's it's kind of a toss up right now. I haven't drafted anything since, what is it, May I think is when I wrote the last book and it's just been a really long time and now it's February so it'll be okay, it'll be fine. I've got my sweet little writing buddy with me today. Hey Penny, can you say hi to everybody? So we are going to get focused. I just, I just need to get focused. So let me just talk it out with you guys for a minute. Also going to plug in my main monitor here so that I can have my ergonomics. There, let me just set up. Now I got the Word document there and I'm just going to use my keyboard. I do have my Apple keyboard here. I just never use it. I could use this today to have even better ergonomics. Set that up quick. The problem is though with this is I didn't buy a mouse and I still have to like move around in the scene. So sometimes I feel like it's just easier to do my Mac as if it's the keyboard. We're gonna try this. I want to show why this specific thing that happened matters to Jezebel because if it doesn't matter to her then the reader's not gonna care either. So we need to show how is it impacting her and it's gonna lead to like an impossible choice where she has basically two painful options I guess you could say. It's like option one, I don't want to tell you <laughs> Or option two, which is even worse, but it seems like it's less pain up front. Sometimes this is called the stupid choice, actually, I think. I think I've heard it called the stupid choice, or maybe that's later on. And in this book, the Save the Cat Rights and All, you guys hear me talk about this all the time. I think we would call this the catalyst. Why am I forgetting? Yeah, the catalyst. Or no, technically it's the debate. I just wrote the catalyst. Okay, so we're in the debate, basically. And that means that we're trying to set it up to show the impossible choice, as some people call it, where it's like, like, do we go this way or that way? Neither of them is that great. And then we show them picking one. So they're debating about it. Since I have this open, why don't I refresh for a minute? This is happening really fast to be in chapter two, to be in the catalyst. So I think I'm gonna obviously be a fast drafter and need to flesh the story out more in the editing stage. But for right now, the catalyst is happening in chapter two. All right, enough talk. I'm not in the right headspace. So I'm gonna put on some Spotify music, try to get in the right headspace, and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> hear them out there and he's crying. I just gotta check in because I'm not doing what I said I was gonna do. So I'm in here. I wrote something in here and I was like, oh shoot, this is gonna cause a plot. So I had to go back. <laughs> I got 
10 minutes left now and I had to go find the plot hole spot wherever it was and then I was like okay how am I gonna rewrite this and so I thought of a new way to write it so I had to do that and then that made me go forward and I had to flesh out this chapter more I hear him coming hello <laughs> Recording, right? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, do you need something? I was just gonna finish this vlog. Clearly, I'm done now. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm gonna post that. I am going to share that. That was too funny not to share. <laughs> Hi, family photo. Your heads are cut off. <laughs> I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna call it. Hold on. I'm calling it, obviously. How much should I do here? Let's pull up my word count stickers, even though, like I said, I basically was editing the whole time. That's what I was trying to get at. I was going in here and then in here and fixing this and fixing that. So did I add any words? Let's see. 728. Got my little tracker here, so I'm gonna put that on Saturday the 12th. I've only written, as you can see here, two days this week. And what did I write for? Probably like 60 minutes. I'm trying to track to see how long it takes with the baby and if it takes me longer to write a book or less time. Honestly, I've never fully tracked my time before, but oh, I hear him crying. I need to go help. Um, anyway. It's the cranky time and I, I need to write either earlier in the day or I just need to not be in the house. Like this isn't working very well, but I did get stuff done. That's what counts. Oh, and I was gonna say I wrote a really fun ending for chapter two. Honestly, it's a really fun cliffhanger and chapter one has a fun cliffhanger, but technically it could be all bundled together as chapter one. It's one of those things where you don't have to decide when you're drafting. I just like to split it up and have shorter chapters. It makes you feel like you're getting somewhere. Honestly, I feel like so far this vlog, I've just felt really stuck. I still don't know what this next part's gonna be and what she's gonna do next. So I guess it's good to be done for the day and I'll brainstorm it and hopefully have something when I come back next time. Who's my cute girl? Hi guys, it's Monday. It's officially Monday. It's actually Valentine's Day, January. <laughs> January, February 14th today. The reason I'm feeling stuck is probably because it's been three months since I outlined this story. I think I did a vlog about it and I loved the outline, but do I remember it? Partially, kind of. So I've been referring back to it, but what I'm thinking is I need to just go through and put all of this in my Word document and do my bullet point thing throughout the whole document and then I can flesh it out as I go. Then I have it fresh in my head. You know what I mean? I guess what I'm trying to say is when you're stuck, I feel like there's two things you gotta do. You have to first figure out why you're stuck because there are different reasons. For me, I knew that it was partially because I couldn't remember where I was going. So that's why I wanna do this. Not necessarily re-outlining stuff because I have typed up my outline, but it's more that I need to write it in for my own refresher and I might as well write it into the Word doc. It's going to make word count tracking more tricky because, well, obvious reasons, as I go through and I write the actual scene, I'm gonna delete it in the outline. So it's gonna be like adding words and then deleting words and then adding and deleting. And it could get messy, but word count's not as important as being able to write the dang book. And so what was the second thing that I was gonna say? Oh, the second thing for getting unstuck, I think honestly is brainstorming and taking the time to think it through, which is something I tend to just just be like, ah, I'm stuck, but I don't do anything about it. After I write all this up, I'm then going to brainstorm and flesh it out more, like the whole thing, maybe, maybe just the beginning, I don't know. And we'll see how far I get in an hour and a half or at this point, less than that. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is I probably won't actually write much story today, but I know that this is important. So it's not wasted time. We need to do it for the writing to go well next time. Enough procrastinating. I always do this when I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's go.
Also, I think I'm gonna try using my Happy Light. This is not sponsored at all. I just, I got this years ago and it helps with, especially in Minnesota winters where everybody has seasonal depression on top of like normal depression and issues like that. So this kind of works like coffee, sort of, where it gives you energy. It's like getting vitamin D. I don't know, again, not sponsored. I don't even remember at this point. I just remember that it works. And since it's early enough in the day, I've done this at night and then I can't sleep. It's early enough in the day that I'm gonna use it. And speaking of coffee, my favorite drink is starting next week. I am going to try to be more healthy. I'm gonna to try to make some lifestyle changes to lose the baby weight and yet just feel better about myself. So I'm gonna enjoy this while I can. Um, if you guys wanna know more about that, let me know because I kinda wanna do research on things that help specifically with hormones and like kind of resetting your hormones. Like I've read about how things like cinnamon and avocado are really good for women. It kinda helps you reset and actually lose weight faster, believe it or not. I'm gonna be doing a lot of research on that and obviously just doing the stuff that works, that, that takes a long time, but it works, which is eating better, fueling my body better, and actually being active. It's a very good lifestyle change, but not today. I'm so tempted to work on YouTube videos right now. I'm gonna shut it down. Let's do this. But I rose up from the ground, just like I was profound. All the odds were against me. So Just finished outlining. Ooh, wow. Let me show you. 7,381 words. I was at like 4,682, so my total just outlining words was 2,699. And yes, I am going to count that. I'm going to count that as my word count for the day, but it's not actually counting towards my total word count for the novel. Let's see how many pages this was. I'm gonna zoom way out so you guys can't read it. And just keep in mind, I write in a template. I've said this before, but like, I basically just have the back matter in here from other books and the front matter, this is the first book's title page and all that jazz and copyright. So today we did, let's see, chapter three here was the old outline that I did. So starting at chapter four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold on, 15, 14, 15, 16 pages. Maybe I might spend my last like 10 minutes here separating this into these chapters because I set up some, you know, temporary chapter headers here. So yeah, I think I'll do that and then if I have any time left I might go and try to flesh out the chapter three outline a little bit more now that I remember the whole story. There you go. I have now separated everything into chapters. This is where the outline begins. There's chapter four with an outline. Chapter five, let's see, six has a longer outline. That's probably gonna be more than one chapter. Seven, eight might be split into two. Nine might be split into two or three. 10 is like the longest one. And that's probably gonna be more like two or three or four chapters. But that way it's sort of split up and I can get a sense of where I am in the story. It's based on beat. So like game changing midpoint, post midpoint where the bad guys start closing in. Um, what does this one say? I can't read it. Disaster or the dark night of the soul kind of moment. And this is where in theory, the five point finale begins. And then I split it up where this is like the high tower surprise. If you follow the Save the Cat Rights and Novel Beats, you'll know what I'm talking about here, but that's just kind of the gist of it. And this definitely needs to be split up into probably like five different chapters. Everything you're looking at here, the only stuff that's actually written is from here through here. So this to this and the rest is outline or front and back matter which if you guys have ever heard me talk about this before in my formatting series writing in a template like this just helps me feel like it's a real book because I mean look it's got a title page and it's got all this other good stuff in my author bio but it does mean that there's many many more words here than the actual story so anyway that is how far I got today now I literally have like three minutes left but I'm gonna go into here and in case you guys are curious I just go to the view tab and then I add this navigation pane on the side and I go to the bullet point one here so that I can kind of, I've kind of hacked my way into it looking like Scrivener as I write because now that I've put things into this outline format, I can easily jump around. Here's my front and back matter, but then I want to jump to chapter three where I'm currently at and I'm giving you a little sneak peek here of where I started and I'm going to try to flesh this out more. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out to show you. Whoa, I zoomed out way too far. I'm going to spend my last two minutes now trying to figure out what I'm going to write next time. 
There, done. I think I added another page, maybe a page and a half here. And my total is now 29.39. For, let's see, here we are, Monday. Oh my gosh, my writing is so sloppy when I'm using the camera. So that's me hopefully getting unstuck. Let me know if you think this is a good strategy or not. I guess we'll find out in the next vlog because this one's getting too long. I'm hoping to get back into writing at least three times this week. So here's to a lot of progress being made, but obviously you're gonna wanna hit the notification bell slash subscribe if you want to catch that next video because I have no idea when it's gonna be. And until then, wish me luck and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Started